Yes, in this video, we are going to see the circular queue implementation in C++ using arrays. Here in this, uh, here we have declared queue size to be 5. So it can have 5 elements. So after filling up the 5 elements, the queue has to, if it ha if the element, if there is some space, then it has to go to the 0th place and then insert again. So in a circular fashion, it has to be there. So we will see how it is. So here we have declared the two pointers. We have given the name of the class to be Q and Q array. It is of type Q size. Then we have uh, initialized array to be minus one, rear to be minus one, front equal to zero. And we have the following number functions. So E is full. Here it checks if rear plus one, which means uh, uh, mod Q size means at any time when you divide the value, the rear value by uh, the Q size, always it rotate within that Q size. So, for example, if the number of Q size, so for example, here rear plus 1, if it is 5, then when you do mod by Q size, that is 5 by 5, it is 0. So, again, rotate to the first place. If you have 4, 4 plus 1, uh, sorry, if you have 3, 3 plus 1 mod Q size means 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 by uh, 5 means again 4. So, fourth element will point. Then fifth element and so on. After the fifth, again, it will go back to the first element. So here, 0 to 4, it will count. Even if the size is 5, which means 0 to 4, which is again 5. So here we are checking whether if it is equal to front, then it returns 1. Else it turns 0. The full, when it will full, when the rear plus 1 size is equal to pointing to the front. So that is when both front and rear are same. So in which case you can say that it is a Q is full. Then again, same uh, empty, if it is returning minus 1, that is, there is no value, then you say it is a uh, empty Q. Then NQ, again, in NQ, you again, you have to modify the pointer accordingly by using this mod operator. So the rear will be checked. This, uh, this, uh, this will be checked. This made uh, assured that the rear, the Q is made a circular after coming to the last value in the array again it goes to the front this is why it means if, when you are uh, removing some values from the front even if there is some uh, space in the front when the rear is reached at the end you will not be able to add more to the queue because it shows the end of the end of the queue in order to eliminate this only we go for queue size a uh, circular queue where the queue is made of circular. So even if there is a space after removal from the front space, there is space. So you can add, say so for example, 10 elements are there, five elements are removed means there is some space, but when the rear in normal queue, when it reaches the end, say for example, ninth position, it says that there is no space, even if there is space in the front portion. In order to avoid that only, we make it as a circular. So after the ninth position, again, it has to go to the zeroth position where there is space. So how it can be done by doing this? So it can be made circular by, by doing this, by this statement. Then DQ. So the real is made accordingly, uh, modified accordingly. Then in that place, you place the data. Then DQ. DQ is deleting a Q value. So here again, you check for empty or not. And then del data, you place the data from the front you whatever the value that is placed in the temporary variable and then you uh, if the, it is only one element then you accordingly you modify the pointer so that after removal the queue is shown as empty or else you again the front also has to be the pointer also has to be uh, uh, updated according to the circular queue so here again front plus one queue size we are doing then uh, the value is returned to the main program. Now this is a peak is to check the front value. So that will be printed here. Then this is print queue. So here again, it is made it's because of the circular queue from front to rear, you have to print. So here again, we made this uh, to be a circular movement. And then we print the value in the respective positions of the array by using its index accordingly. And this is the destroy queue as usual. We have made the pointers and then uh, where well, rear is minus one and front is zero, and these are all the menu driven. And we call, we declare a uh, object which is of type the class Q, and then we call that. Now I just run this program. Now here, 
I'll show how it becomes a circular. So first NQ, I'm adding some data. And here. So five values are added. Seventh, print Q. Now you see here, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Front is zero and rear is here. Now I'm adding, trying to add again. Now what happened? It will say Q is full because only five elements it can accept. See here, Q is full, cannot insert because only five elements. Now, so now I'm going to DQ four. So the first element is removed. In normal array, what happens? If I try to add, it will say Q is full because it has rear has reached the end. But this is a circular Q. The Q, since there is a first, there is a space in the front. That is zeroth uh, element. So now when I add, see I am adding. Now it accepts. See it has accepted. And now I print the print queue. See here, front. Front is pointing this. But after this, the rear is zero. Here it has printed. Now again, I am trying to dequeue an element. Then I add. Now, let me print the value. See here, front is pointing to. So, this is the point two. And then rear is this. From zero, this is zero and this is one. So, it is, uh, now it has a circular queue. Now, I am printing the fifth uh, peak, peak value, which is nothing but 30. Front is this. So, it is printing that value. Now, we can destroy and then finally exit.